What up guys, Sokar here with episode 16 and uh, we're here at the sand quarry just digging out some uh, more sand because uh, I've been working on the other side of the uh, the hallway or uh, the hall I, at this point I'm not even sure what it's going to be yet because um, you know the main room that we've been working on with the one with the weed farms in it I've had ideas about expanding behind it. Um, you know, that was already already the plan, but it seems like uh, there was so little space after finishing it up, uh, or not finishing it up, but, you know, getting this far just doesn't seem enough. And I've had another good idea, I think, for something I want to put in there. Uh, so we got to get a move on with that, and uh, that's why we needed this uh, additional sand and uh, sandstone. So I've actually uh, gotten a lot of it now. Uh, it's really, uh, I really like this uh, dicking method. It really saves a lot of time. Uh, whereas in the, I still remember the old days when I worked on the, on the island. There was always so much sand needed and never any sand to be had. Anyway, I guess we'll grab, not all of it. We can come back for it. Uh, I don't want to put too much storage around the the base until I know where I want to put the sand. I guess I could put it in the storage room, but I haven't made a hole for it yet. So I guess we're just taking uh, taking this and uh, heading back for the base. Uh, oh, we will we'll sleep here real quick so we don't have to deal with the rain. Uh, also, I would like to uh, mention a person uh, who has uh, done me a great kindness actually he's the first who's done so uh, he is called Jamie B uh, I will uh, leave his name in the description for now he is my first donator he uh, he contacted me on um, on private messaging asking uh, out what the how he was gonna do this uh, well actually he had problems with some language settings uh, it uh, turned out I didn't really know how to fix it and I kind of you know made a point of it that if he had to spend time you know actually figuring out the donation page he simply shouldn't do it but uh, he pulled through and uh, actually donated a whole uh, four bucks so in light of that we will also have to start work on our donation room I guess uh, I'll find it. I already have an idea for it, but I won't spoil it because I don't think we're going to be working on that today, unfortunately. Uh, because the where I want it, you know, in relation to the base, I still need to do a bunch more work uh, in the main room. We also need the damn elevator. So many things that needs to be done. Uh, but for now, let's just head down to the base. I'll just clip to it when we're down there. So here we are, just uh, cooking up some glass here for later usage. And uh, as you can see, we now have officially done more, <laughs> I guess, uh, on the other side here. There's still some uh, some things to work out. For example, I haven't uh, figured out what we'll do with this corner and uh, other stuff like that. Uh, what else is new? Oh, right there's a lever yes quite a few people uh, asked me uh, if we shouldn't have a uh, master control I guess for the wheat farms and it was actually on my mind the reason I didn't do it last time was because I couldn't find um, a good spot for it I didn't really know where it would be nice to have it but since then I have figured it and I'm thinking right up here looks great so we can, uh, you know, see all the water working and, uh, you know, just take it all in. I don't know. I thought it would be fun to put it up here. It was uh, a bit difficult to get the lining up, but uh, it worked out great. Uh, if you guys want to see the wiring, I guess we can uh, we can go have a look at that real quick. Uh, it it's really not that complicated. It's just you know redstone wire with some repeaters to extend the signal. Uh, also, I cleaned up uh, this down here. 
I removed the timers. If you saw my latest video on the wheat farm, you'll be able to see why I did that. Uh, as it turns out, I overcomplicated the things last time. Uh, but anyway, uh, here it is, the wiring. Now the master control is com signal is coming from here. Now the reason we have repeaters here, even though they're not actually needed, is to prevent uh, any other signal from uh, overlapping. For example, I had an issue um, with the weed farms back here, where you would uh, you would turn this one on and the signal would go down through here and go through and hit this repeater and actually activate the two other. Uh, wheat farms further down the line. So these uh, repeaters here uh, is there to prevent any uh, unwanted uh, activations. <coughs> it sounds like there's something wrong with... Uh, oh, no mind. Uh, also, it shouldn't be that loud, uh, but a lot of people have been... Uh, I've seen this on other channels as well. People have started noticing these weird sounds, and uh, you know, around the uh, different parts of uh, people's bases. And basically, what it is is uh, lava. Lava now has a, a sound. It seems like a lot of people didn't know about this, uh, and it's kind of annoying because I have it like everywhere. Uh, the reason you can't hear it is because the sound is turned a bit down, and because I'm talking most of the time. Uh, but anyway, let's gather all this up. Also, I've added a new thing to the weight farms. As you can see, the chests here, they actually work. I wasn't sure if that worked, you know, with a half slap over it, but it does. So I've added that, so we have some uh, somewhere to quickly uh, throw in the uh, the wheat that we gather. And uh, also the seeds, when there's uh, an overflow of it, which there usually, uh, uh, which there usually is. Um, I'm not gonna replant this right now. It's gonna. It takes a while. There's no reason for me to do that on camera. I'll just do that at some other point. Uh, did we get it all? Yes, we did. And as you can see, it's quickly adding up. We have quite a lot of uh, wheat by now, which we're gonna be using for um, whoops for farming animals. But what we are going to do today is uh, none of that. It's not the donation room, it's not uh, animal farming, unfortunately, although I'd really love to get uh, get working on that soon, so I'm thinking that's not going to be too far in the future. I also know where I want to put it, so that's good. But what we're going to be working on today is something I'm thinking we will put down in this hallway. And uh, that is a tree farm. And more specifically, we're going to have two of them. We're going to have a pine tree farm, because uh, you have no, uh, just, you know, you know, just the amount of trees you have to cut down to make this. And now I've done it on the other side. It took me so many hours, it's not even funny. Um, so we're going to add that, and then we're going to add a, an oak farm as well. I don't know if we're going to do that today, though. It depends on how long this is going to take. Um... But the the reason we want that is because you know it would be nice to have a um, a apple farm, you know, just for the hell of it. It's not uh, something I'm planning to use all that much uh, when it comes to practical uh, uh, food sources because because meat is uh, so much better. But uh, it would still be cool to have, and we would uh, be able to get golden apples. Uh, so I'm thinking that would be nice. But uh, again, we really need that uh, pine tree farm. I've been postponing that uh, construction of that for way too long, and I've paid for it dearly uh, when it comes to to the time I have to spend on just cutting those down. So anyway, the first thing we'll do is we'll work on this uh, doorway, and uh, I will do that off camera, get something uh, decent going, and then uh, I'll be back showing you guys. Alright guys, we this is how far we are. I've uh, done the entrance. Not sure if I'm going to keep it this way. It's uh, I kind of like it, but it just felt like it went too fast with that. Uh, I might uh, have a look into making something um, a little bit more interesting. 
Uh, but it looks kind of cool from a distance, and you know it looks uh, it looks nice with the with the extra support uh, and stuff like that. So I, I'm liking it. Uh, but as for the farm itself, now you might think that we would be doing some elaborate redstone stuff. I was thinking about doing that. Uh, I saw a really cool one that uh, Pear Scroll did, but uh, it really not only is it overly overly complicated but also uh, when it comes to practical use uh, I have one in my creative world um, it's it's slower it's uh, it's simply not you know it's not really good for uh, for actually getting um, for actually getting wood it's it's slower than just you know setting up a plantage or whatever uh, it's called so what we'll be doing instead is we'll have a room. I'm thinking right now it's only gonna have two rows on each side. But I'm thinking I'm gonna expand that to three, depending on space going down there. Uh, and then we'll just extend it as long as we want it. Now the reason we need to have two spaces between here is that unlike oak trees, I don't know if you know this or not, uh, pine trees don't uh, isn't able to grow uh, close to each other. Uh, they need to be at least this amount of space uh, and I have tested uh, the roof height and I have actually uh, dug out the roof to the exact height that uh, is required for them to grow. So, uh, and actually it's, a, it's convenient because the trees that will grow in this height uh, will grow to no uh, will grow to the exact height that you can uh, you can um, you can get at from the ground uh, sometimes they get very short uh, and has a lot of leaves but you know uh, pine trees really isn't uh, all that easy farming uh, but it's going to be convenient and it's going to be easy uh, to get at it which is really the point because <coughs> we're going to be needing a lot more of this uh, so yeah, that's how far we are so, uh, until now. Again, the interior of the room is uh, is a whole different matter. Right now, we just need to get the function part of it going, and then we'll have a look at aesthetics. So anyway, I will expand the room some more, uh, and once we've uh, gotten a little bit uh, more progress done, I will be back. Closer. We're getting there, slowly. This took... Yet again, quite a while, and cleaning out the room with the smooth stone wasn't an, a slow task, let me tell you. But, uh, we, and as you can see here, I'm actually in a cave system. We happen to hit the same cave system that we hit from up here. So that was uh, that's something. But we are going to try and plant some of these trees and see if they grow as... Whoa, whoa, whoa and see if they grow as expected. We just gotta throw some of this off. I guess I should have gone and got the saplings first, but no biggie. I should have some lying around not too uh, not too far from here. Uh, also, um, I have I talked about uh, me wanting to try and do some kind of new thing, a new show. Uh, and by show I don't mean something where I talk about my channel and stuff like that. Um, I mean uh, something different. Uh, I'm kind of thinking some sort of... Um, oh, how, how can I describe this uh, to accurately... accurately say what it is I'm thinking but I'm thinking about some sort of show where we where I will show some uh, game gaming footage of what I presume will be Minecraft or some other game uh, that I have where the hell did I whatever uh, that I've played uh, and while that's going on we will be uh, chatting about uh, different things oh. If that ship's not away last next time, I'm gonna kill it. Uh, but anyway, what I was saying was uh, some kind of show where we will be talking about gaming stuff. 
uh, anything really. I'm ha I'm thinking uh, I would have you guys, uh, you know, write me some uh, something in a personal message. If you had an issue with a game or with uh, something in the gaming community or in Minecraft or whatnot, uh, you would write that to me, and I would uh, I would address it in that video talking about. Uh, uh, well, my opinion on it. Uh, I will research the the topic and uh, try and make it uh, interesting and informative. Uh, as for what exactly, what kind of topics exactly we're talking about, it's it could be anything really. Uh, it's something that we kind of have to try out and uh, slowly get into uh, to make it work. I don't think it would work if um, if I said, for example, oh well anything Minecraft related because then people would start asking uh, stuff that would take like 10 seconds to answer I'm really thinking here you know deep uh, rooted issues if you have any of those uh, but again anything at all would help would be helpful try and uh, but remember send it to me via PM uh, just anything at all and uh, I will slowly you know get a better sense of what exactly it is uh, I'm looking for. I'm really uh, counting on you guys to help me out with that. If you don't have any though, don't feel like you're like, don't get all stressed and think, oh, I gotta figure something out. Just, uh, you know, if you, if you get something, some questions about anything gaming related, let me know and I'll see if I can uh, work with that. Anyway, I forgot the, the bone meal because that's how awesome I am, so I will go grab that and then I'll be back. All right, we're back and we got some bone meal, and I have made sure that we have plenty of it for the future. I'm thinking we'll have saplings over here, and uh, let's see if we can grow some. Yep, seems to be working. Again, there's that little issue that you seem to be covered in leaves whenever you do it, but it seems to be working somewhat. Yeah, it's uh, it's all right. It's fast and they fit in here. That's good. Now let's see if I'm right. Yep. So far, anyway, we still have to figure out the lighting and wow, so many other things. Uh, but at least it's good to know that it's working. Trust me, guys. It's, it wouldn't have been the first time where I kind of you know figure out what I want to do. I start building it. I actually spent a whole day completing it, and after I complete it, I figure out that it's not working, and I have to do it all over again. So, I'm uh, aiming at not doing that today. Maybe I should put wood in there, hmm. or both, I guess. Uh, all right. So uh, that's working. Now the next thing we will be handling is the surroundings. Uh, we'll just start. Uh, with the interior um, aesthetics and work our way out from there or the grounding light first I don't really know anyway I'll figure that out and uh, once I'm done I will show it to you guys and uh, we'll see if we can't get this done today I think we're gonna go with with something like this you know with uh, uh, a checkered wall area in the back there uh, I, and in uh, this area here as well I think I want to try and do something else with the long wall but the thing is I'm just I'm out of it I can't really uh, come up with anything uh, so I think uh, what I'll do is I'll finish uh, finish this up oh and of course we have I've uh, made the floor into uh, sandstone Another reason for this is it really helps brightening up the room. I know I, I use a lot of sandstone, uh, but it seems like uh, most people are with me on that. Sandstone really is a, a nice looking block. How far away can I stand and do this? Oh, this is going to make it much easier. Um, uh, what was I talking about? Uh, yeah, the sandstone. So uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm sort of an addict when it comes to sandstone. I just really love the color, especially, you know, I don't really like it when you use it on the walls particularly, but if you look at it at the floor, it has this really smooth 
desert uh, kind of color. It's kind of, it's it's close enough to white that you still get that feeling, you know, when you're in a, a really nice uh, modern kitchen or something. Or in a modern house, even. Uh, but at the same time, you get a bit of color in it. I really like that block. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna clean these trees, and do this wall. See if I can't figure something out uh, with this wall, and uh, then I think we'll wrap it up. All right, guys, this is what we've got. I decided to go with some dark wood, uh, blended with wood uh, on the back here with uh, pine leaves. Or I guess it's not leaves. I don't even know what it's called, uh, but pine leaves blocks uh, for some, a little bit of plants there. Now originally I didn't want to go with wood in here because there's going to be so much wood in the trees themselves. But I think at the same time it kind of holds true to the to what the room is about. And I also really like the entrance, even though it was a first school effort. So I think I'm keeping that. Uh, but anyway, let's uh, plant these guys. And uh, now one thing that's uh, important to remember is while bone meal definitely speeds up this process, and trust me, it re I mean, just doing these walls took me like two cleanouts of this room, but <coughs> but the thing is, it went really, really fast getting those trees up. And uh, it didn't take all that much bone meal, but uh, I definitely will be using the skeleton farm a bit more than I used to. Uh, the back wall is still grey and that's because I kinda wanna try and do something else back there, maybe even put a room there so we can walk through a little pine forest thingy on our way to something else. Uh, so I left that wall for now and I left the, the cave open to remind me when I come in here that it's still there and that I need to go and uh, clean that out. Uh, as you can see, we still have a little bit of supplies there, and I've uh, put a little bit more... Of, I think I went and got another two stacks of bone meal or something. Uh, but yeah, that's that. Uh, oh, and I changed the leaves out here as well, to kind of uh, reflect uh, what uh, what's in the room. Now, I am thinking, though, when we do the, the oak tree farm, I'm... I'm thinking we'll have two of those. Uh, we'll have an apple, uh, an apple farm, which is, oh, what was that? We'll have an apple farm, and we'll have uh, one of those elaborate redstone uh, tree farms. Where, uh, if you have seen uh, pear squirrels uh, channel, where you kind of plant it, and then it gets pushed all the way up, and then to the side and down, and it forms like this massive block of uh, wood that you can just cut out and you just keep on doing that. It looks really, really cool. It's not very practical, but it looks cool, and uh, I think it would be uh, awesome to have something like that. Maybe we could add that exactly here, you know? So that you would plant the trees uh, somewhere, would uh, expand the room a little bit, change the back wall a little bit. So we'd go here, plant the trees, and they would get pushed out over here, and that's where we'd cut it down. Uh, the good thing about a tree farm like that is we could actually do it with pine and uh, and uh, what's the last one? Uh, birch trees as well. Uh, but we'll have to look at that another time. This uh, project took me like actually two days, believe it or not. Uh, it's kind of hard to believe, I know, but it's true. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, go and have a l one last look. And I still haven't even gone around to replanting the wheat farm. I'll have to do that. Uh, but yeah, I think we're going to end it on this note, guys. We just need to have a look at the entrance. And uh, I don't know, I think it looks uh, pretty sweet. You know, finally have something there. Uh, it's uh, s The room is slowly taking shape here. We'll have to start planting, planting the garden that we're going to have around here. That's going to be purely aesthetics. Maybe a tree here and there, some bushes and whatnot. Uh, but that's probably something I'll uh, play around with off camera, unless you guys actually want to see some gardening. <laughs> I doubt it, but let me know if you do. Maybe I'll make a short video or the time lapse with it or something. 
so yeah, but anyway guys, thank you very much for watching, uh, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care everybody.